if you already have ClassLink booked, then you're going to click on ClassLink first. So Carol website, student section, ClassLink. On ClassLink, it'll, you'll need to log in, and then you're going to go down to Wii Video right here. Okay. All right. So we are going to be making a video. All right. So I'm going to click on video. And then what you'll need to do is you're going to need to import your segment, import your animation. Okay. So I'm going to go to import. You can either import there or you can just go to the folder you were at, I was at. So I can go to my folder that I have, click on my videos and drag them into this area. Now it's highlighted blue. Okay. All right, so it's gonna uh, load your clips. It'll buffer them, so it'll load them. And then once they're done, you can start dragging them down into these, um, these areas down here, these video channels and audio channels, all right? Or tracks. Okay, so there's actually two different versions of editors in on this website. If you go to these little three lines right here, there's our menu. Um, there's a storyboard mode like this and then the, that's like the more um, that one reminds me more of iMovie and then this one is timeline mode and this one is more like an Adobe Premiere type thing or Final Cut Pro. So let's go to storyboard mode. So I'm going to go to the menu and go to storyboard switch and it gives you a title sequence right off the bat. If you don't want it, you can click on it, delete it. All right, and this is a simple drag and drop program. I really like this one. So it's, you can just take it, drag it, drop it in. Beginning, middle, end. So if you did a title sequence and a uh, animation sequence, you can uh, drag these in. If you have all the clips from your group, you can organize them this way too. It's super easy, okay? So then you can see we've got this right here. That's my animation. Um, that's going to be the easiest way to organize your clips. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over to the advanced one now. So I'm going to click on my menu and go down to timeline mode. And what you're going to want to do first is voiceover. So voiceover first, then sound effects. And then lastly, once we have all the clips, you can add in your soundtrack because you want the soundtrack to match throughout. Um, so say that the beginning one was my clip, the middle one was Miss Burlingame, and the end clip is Miss Adams. Okay, so we each did our own. Now I have all three of our clips. So we're going to do some voiceover. To do that, you're going to go to media, my media and then narrate record would be like a screencast like your whole screen um narrate's going to be your entire um or just your voice so i'm going to click on narrate and when you're ready you want to mute your video in case you had any other sound effects or anything on there and you will click record it'll count you down Let's see if this works and then you can start your narration beginning middle and end stop it whenever you're done you can preview it by pushing play and then you can start your narration beginning middle and if you like it you just click save if you don't click record again all right so you'll see it's saving it and it'll drop it down here into a new audio track like that i'm gonna get rid of this one we don't need it all right so then after you're done doing all of your narration, yours is obviously going to take longer than that because it should be longer than six seconds long or however long this is. Um, after that, I'm going to go to do a, um, some, sound, some uh, sound effects. So I'm going to go to a new audio track. So I'm going to click the plus sign, click on audio, and then title it sound effects. Click add track. All right. And then after that, I'm going to go up to audio and to the sound effects folder. And there's all these different things that you can click on.
<laughs> All these different things. Okay, uh, if I click on people, I think there's one that I liked. Okay, so there's some that are like, uh, like this one says children whispering. That sounds real creepy, but it, it looks like it, I want you to think of things in a, in a different way, all right? So if it's, even though it says children whispering, think it sounds kind of like a pen writing, so. Okay. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm just gonna click this. And I'm gonna drag it down to my sound effects line. So now I've got my voiceover and some sound effects in there. You can adjust the audio on there. I wouldn't make your voiceover go over 100%. It'll max out the speakers. The sound effect though, you can bring up if you'd like. So now here's what it sounds like so far. And then you can start your narration. Beginning. Middle. And then. Okay. Um, say you wanted them all to match up. You can click it and drag it over. If it's really, really long like this, you can take it and cut it. So it cuts it into two. Delete that last track and then slide over this track here to match the end. So now it'll all end here. And then. All right. Um, last thing that I would add is adding one more audio track. And this would be after you have all of your tracks already done is you would add a soundtrack. That means that you already have sound effects and a voiceover soundtrack. Now it's down there. I'm going to go back up here to free music. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down here to my track. All right, let's see what it sounds like right here. This little plus minus thing shows you more or less of your project if you want it to be, uh, here's your timeline slider, there we go. If I wanted it to be like right here, drag this over. So you can't just click on it, you actually have to drag it. So cut it, delete that part. I'm gonna take this and slide it to the beginning. Which is actually there, so make sure you're able to do that. Okay, so you can see the song is really long. So I'm gonna take this, slide this over, and cut it, get rid of that section there, and then take this section here and drag it so it clicks onto it. So now here's what it looks like, or sounds like. It's really, really loud. So I'm gonna take the soundtrack and I'm gonna reduce it to about 20%. So now it sounds like this. And then you can start your narration. Beginning, middle, and end. All right, so there you go. So now I've got my soundtrack, I've got my narration, I've got my sound effect. If I wanted that sound effect to be louder, I could always uh, raise it up. And then you can start your narration. Beginning. Okay. Um, all right. So that would be, I would call that done. If I was done, I would click finish. I would title it, whatever your video is called. Uh, beginning, middle, end. Your name. Your group number. And then if yours was just part like two of four, you could always say two of four whatever, and then click set. And you would export the video in HD. You can link it to your Google Drive so it downloads the video and uh, connects to your drive. That way you can share it with me. Um, and then you would just click export. 
And that is the basics of editing.